Hello, good people, and welcome to Finest Skills Hub. Here we learn, we connect, and we grow. We continue our series on how to save time and fast track some of the common tasks at the office using AI tools like Copilot and ChatGPT. In this short video, I want to demonstrate how you can create the outline and content for a full PowerPoint presentation, then go on to create the PowerPoint presentation all these in just five minutes so if you're game join me and let's get started okay so for the purposes of this demonstration i'm using copilot for microsoft 365 that license allows you to have copilot to use on the web and also use it through the microsoft office suites so powerpoint excel outlook teams all these get copilot so that you can sync your files and then work smoothly with copilot across so when i come online this is copilot that's my ai assistant for work now i get the option to let it work with my files on sharepoint or onedrive or generates my responses from the web right so if you have this option that it means it's integrating your files your appointments your calendar your emails and everything to make all the responses relevant to you so you realize that it has my colleagues here, so Ferdinand, Daniel. So you can use these prompts to schedule meetings, read emails and all that. But we are here to create, if you like, an emergency PowerPoint presentation. We haven't created the content for it. So we are going to give it a prompt to create the content and then we'll go ahead to access that content and then create a full PowerPoint presentation in under five minutes. So the whole process starts with the prompt. I've already created the prompt, so I'll go ahead and paste it essentially to create a compelling and informative presentation on the value of learning data analytics. To make it a bit more relevant, it should address its relevance in decision-making, business growth, and career advancement. So that is what I need. Everything I need in my presentation is in there. So if I've done this, I'm going to go ahead and then submit. Okay, so again, it's going to look through my files for any relevant data or content to add right so you realize that it has created this in six slides it has my title slide introduction relevance in decision making right so typical powerpoint layout okay now the advantage is that because this is already synced with all the other office apps i get the option to directly access this in microsoft word right so this is the file that he has created in microsoft word i'll go ahead and open it Okay, so if I open this in SharePoint, this is the four content in Word, right? This is important because when we go to PowerPoint, it will just fetch this file and then go ahead and create the presentation. So we just wanted to confirm the file is in place. The title here is Data Analytics PowerPoint, right? So with this, I can now open a fresh PowerPoint file. So as I indicated earlier, I still have Copilot here. I have sample prompts that I can use. So let me go ahead and then ask it to create a presentation from a file. So when I do this, it opens the pane to my right. Now, apart from creating a presentation from a file, we have the option to create a presentation on any topic. I can also use Copilot to understand the content of an existing PowerPoint presentation, right? So these are some of the sample prompts that you can use. So I'm using the create a presentation from a file. And now you realize that it actually scans my SharePoint and then brings the existing files, right? So the file that we are interested in is data analytics PowerPoint. So if your file doesn't pop up, you can come to the file online, click on share, okay, and then copy link, right? That is in the event it doesn't pop up. So there's an alternative in the event it doesn't pop up in the existing files. Okay, so I'll come to PowerPoint and in that case, you can just paste the link here, but because mine has already popped up, I'm going to use the data analytics PowerPoints. Okay, so this is the file is going to use to create my PowerPoint presentation. I'll go ahead and then feed this into the prompt. So let's see what it does. It finds the file, it drafts a presentation, gives me the slides, okay, and then goes ahead so it gives me the outline for the presentation, right? And then it goes ahead to just create 
the presentation, right? It is a very minimalistic theme, but it's not a problem because I can use designer to enhance and even make it better, right? So here you realize that it starts with the introduction, then the agenda, then the introduction to data analytics and all the slides that you saw earlier, right? Now, the advantage is that for enhancement and making the slides better, you can use the designer, right? So the designer tool is right here. So example, if I take the first slide and I come to designer, right? It's able to suggest ways to make the slide better, increase fonts, add a bit of content, icons and background and all that. If you want a dark theme, you could choose that one as well. Okay. So this is possible. You could even have a sample that has animation already embedded, right? You can now use these options to set the look and feel of each slide. Okay, so as an example, if I come to agenda, I get to now include a picture, right? So I can use these picture placeholders, later change them, right? So instead of starting from scratch, you already have something close to the full presentation, which you can enhance using designer, also in PowerPoint. But the key learning here is that the way we work is changing using Copilot. So if you already have Copilot for Microsoft 365, it is able to work across all the Office apps to make it easier for you to work. So you get the idea. Hopefully you can give this a shot and then see how you can save time in creating some of these routine tasks. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you in the next video. If this video was helpful and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your WhatsApp, you can send ad to this WhatsApp number. We'll add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly. You can also visit our YouTube channel, Finest Skills Hub. All our old videos are here. Please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.